Good morning, Ridgeview High School, and thanks for watching The Raven Report. I'm Austin Purcell. And I'm Vaughn Robinson. It's Tuesday, January 14th. We'll be on a shortened Wednesday bail schedule tomorrow. Many of you have heard of the Sparrow Club. For those who haven't, it exists to help kids in medical need and sets the stage for simple yet epic acts of kindness in schools. Now it's time to meet the Sparrow Club kid for Ridgeview High School. His name is Luca. He needs your help. There will be a Sparrow Club fundraiser this Thursday night at 6 p.m. in the Skybox. It's a Monty Python movie. Admissions will be just three bucks and concessions will also be available for purchase. All the proceeds go to Little Luca in his time of need. That's Thursday night at 6 in the Skybox. Students at Ridgeview High School continue to prove how epic we can all be. The latest example comes right from the classroom and it shows how the school's great teachers can help you improve the very important craft of writing. Mason Loving of the Raven Support has more. Ridgeview High School, home of the Ravens. Many of our students have been recognized for their exemplary performances on the field, track, or stage. But one of the Ravens has recently soared on the academic road. As I sit down and watch the news about the government shutdown, I turn the channel and see other stories which demonstrate why I'm optimistic about America's future. Nathan Hunt, a junior at Ridgeview High School, recently wrote an essay for The Voice of Democracy and has been recognized for his thoughts. Um, I wrote this essay, or I applied for this scholarship because uh, my older siblings in the past have uh, done this and each one of them have won a couple hundred dollars and I figured that a couple hundred dollars will help me in college or just in my life. So, um, I wrote mine on how we can stay unified um, even in problems that we have, whether that's um, sickness or the government shutting down or um, natural disasters that we can just stay together and help each other. Um, yeah. But he did not do it alone. Our staff here at Ridgeview is here to help all the students along their journey to success. So Nathan had a scholarship worked out and I read his essay and as I find with most essays it was very cliche. I found that he answered the prompt is that exactly how I would suspect most students would answer it. So that was the place where I could meet him in the middle and we could talk about him, who he is as a person and how we could write a scholarship application that would actually be unique to him and his voice. So I think if kids can use the Career Center, if they can use their teachers and come talk to them and get some help and if they can get a little feedback on their essays, they'd see that there's a lot of opportunities available to them. Whether on the court, in the theater, or in the classroom, the Ravens are flying high and advocating for their future. I'm Mason Loving for the Ravens Report. Thanks, Mason. And great job, Nathan. If you are a senior and want some financial aid for college, don't forget the FAFSA workshop tomorrow night. Richard Thompson from the College Place will be in the Career Center tomorrow night from 6 to 8 to walk you through the application process. More information can be found at the Career Center page on the school website. Do you want a picture you took with your phone or camera to be in the school yearbook? It's as easy as one, two, three. Number one, take a cool and appropriate picture with any smartphone or camera you already have. Number two, create an account at replayit.com and go to the Ridgeview page. That's replayit.com. There's even a mobile app so you can do it all on your phone. Number three, click on the purple submit pics button and upload your photos to the site. It's that simple. The Ridgeview page at replayit.com already has hundreds of photos from the school year taken by the yearbook staff, and you will have access to them forever if you order your yearbook on the site. So go to replayit.com today. Finally, here's what's on the menu in the Raven Cafe at lunch tomorrow. Homemade mac and cheese with a side of broccoli, and it's only five bucks. More student-produced news stories, sports highlights, and fun stuff can be found on the school's YouTube page at youtube.com forward slash Ridgey Ravens. I'm Austin Purcell. And I'm Vaughn Robinson. Thanks for watching the Ravens Report. Don't just have an epic day, have a Ravens day. <laughs>